Hello, Cancer viewers. I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks. This is for Cancer. Make sure I have the cards aligned right. Okay. I'm also doing a raffle right now, so if you donate a dollar, you get a raffle ticket, and then on the 22nd, I'm going to be choosing a winner for a free in-depth private video reading. So my, my PayPal and Cash App in, info is below. I also do paid private readings on all my, my email, my contact, all of that, everything is below. All right. Clubs, parties, social life, so it could be somebody that you maybe used to go out with, maybe like a certain place, so it's kind of, you know, synchronicity that kind of lets you know who this is about. Spying, maybe somebody who used to, maybe somebody who's watching, it could be also be that somebody's like watching you on social media and noticing your pictures and your posts. Or like looking at like pictures of you from like a club that you guys went to or something. Love offer, commitment, risk, reward, bold gesture, choosing love over fear, pause, reflection, rest, cold, guarded, distrusting. Beauty, mystery, and enchantment. Toxicity, red flags, hidden motives. So someone owning up to what they did to you in the past. Open and honest communication, message, chaser, chasey, power, struggle, loyalty, stability, vows, like making promises to you to do right in the future. Mutual feelings, emotional depth. I'm trying to put that somewhere you guys can see it. There we go. Okay, so this resonates with the energy I was getting before. Remember, I think in my last video I was saying there's a, there's new love coming in. This is a collective energy I keep getting for almost every zodiac sign that I channel here. I think it's like it just it's it's the current energy is there are a lot of there's just a lot of new love coming in for these for everyone that I channel, um, and I feel like this is about the old person though. So I'm gonna look into the new person too, just briefly. But this is somebody. Um, this this seems like an ex that's gonna come back around or that's wanting to come back around. I think it's a little bit toxic though. Um, because remember I said too. I said this new love is gonna challenge you in the right way. So it's like. I think you're attracted to strong people, like opinionated people, honest people. You're attracted to a certain type of person. Like you can't just have, you can't do like a normal boring relationship. Like you need somebody strong and assertive and opinionated and fun and somebody who just lives their life. And I think you're going to get that with this new person. Um, you know, this new person is going to be challenging you in the right ways. So you might want to check out my, my video I posted a couple weeks ago on that or a few weeks ago, however long that was, uh, that might resonate with you from the, from the new person. So as far as the old person, which is what this story is here, could be somebody you used to go out with, like clubs, parties. There could be something about a club or a party or somewhere. Maybe that's where you guys met. I don't know. But I see them spying. They could also be aware that somebody else is about to give you a love offer, maybe just energetically aware. I also feel like they're wanting to come in with a love offer. They're wanting to take this leap of faith. You know, the feelings are there, the mutual feelings, the emotional depth. But um, it's like all that glimmers isn't gold, you know? Beauty, mystery, and enchantment. But there's toxicity, red flags, hidden motives here. Like the passion is there, the emotion is there, but it's like... Do you want to give this another chance, you know? Because I think it was kind of a power struggle in the past where it's like chase or chasey, you know, and this person wants you now because they can't have you because you're they feel that you're moving on or they feel that you're you're focusing on this new love that's either just come in for you or that's coming in, or you're just focusing on manifesting love in general and you're not, you know, worried about whether it's with this person or somebody new, like you're holding space for them, but you're not putting up with their crap the way that you used to. And so it's like, yeah, now they're enchanted by you. Now they're noticing your beauty. Now they're wanting to come back in. But 
you know, when they want to be open and honest and they want to give you this loyalty, you know, stability, vows, make promises to you. But like, what's the end result most likely for this? If this person comes back around. Waiting, hoping, praying. Yeah, again, leaving you, ghosting you, leaving you hoping, leaving you wanting more, not being enough for you. Truth and clarity. Courage, assertiveness, forward movement. You know, the truth that they're kind of trapped, that they're not able to be courageous and assertive as, as much as you'd like them to be. Maybe you saw that in them and you had hope that they could be that person for you, that they could move forward with you, that they could be strong for you. And now you're kind of realizing that you're a much stronger person than they are and that they can't really match you. And you're kind of like maybe cutting out this belief and not being trapped by it anymore, not waiting as they ghost you and just do whatever. Um, so yeah, you do have this ex coming back around, I feel, I think, but again, I feel like it's a power struggle. I feel like they're coming back around for the wrong reasons. You know, like, I think it's like chaser, chasey power struggle. It's like, let's see, why are they coming back around? What's this about? Sense of belonging, home, safe space. Okay. Vulnerability, receptivity. So they're feeling the love. They are feeling all these emotions, submissive, weak willed. Fast moving energy, chaos, what else? Pride and stubbornness. Okay, are they coming back around for the wrong reasons? Getting a maybe. Are they coming back around for, oops, sorry, you can't even see that. Are they coming back around for mixed reasons? For mixed reasons, what do you think? Yes, uh, confusion and then yes. Okay, so I feel like there's a sense of familiarity here because you guys have a history together. Like, they do feel at home. They do feel vulnerable. They are submissive. They are they are kind of weak-minded, and they're giving in to their feelings. But I feel like this is somebody who kind of just wants what they want when they want it. You know what I mean? It's like they can't have you anymore, and, you know, the forbidden fruit must be tasted, basically. <laughs> it's like it's fast-moving energy, but there's still this pride and stubbornness here. There's still this like chaser chasey game between you guys where it's like they're chasing you and you're not having it or you're chasing them. They're not they're not on the same page. It's always just kind of something's off with this, you know. There is familiarity. I mean, there is love here. I feel like there is vulnerability, openness, a sense of belonging, sense of home. But again, I do feel like another part of why they're coming back around is just because they feel like they can't have you now. You know, and they might feel this new love coming in, whether it's just come in or it's about to come in. They might like energetically, like in the astral realm, telepathically, they can kind of sense that you're about to be loved by somebody who's much stronger than them, much more vulnerable and open than, than them, somebody who's got more life experience than they have. And you're going to break out of this familiar energy with them and you're going to want this new love instead. Show me the new love. Show me about the new love. Magic, intention, power, manifestation. So yeah, you've been manifesting love and it's going to come to you. You're getting through this sadness. Well, they're, okay, this is probably about the ex still, is that they're getting through this sadness and they're choosing their words wisely and planning their approach. But again, too little, too late. This new love, I think, is a, is a potential life partner. Show me a few more cards about the new love. New love only, no ex, no ex. <laughs> Finances and career, maybe somebody who's financially stable. Um, codependency, addiction, reconciliation. So yeah, the X keeps popping up. It's annoying. Because there's like a codependency with your ex, I think. You know what I mean? Like they're codependent on you or vice versa. And so there's like that reconciliation that might, might be like a final test too. I don't know. I want to say like a test, but it's like that stepping stone you have to get through to have this new love. Can you show me anything else about the new love, though? God, I don't want to see the X anymore. Oh, I don't want to see the X anymore. Okay, the X keeps coming through. Stagnation, complacency, manipulation, deception. Lots of mixed energy with the X. All right. Can you? They might not show me the new love because they might want you to get through this little, little hill first before you get the new love because you might need to decide if you want to cut these cords or not and then you manifest the new love. This might be like the last challenge. Could be that you have a pattern with men or with women as well. Um, 
that are kind of manipulative or stagnant, ghosting you, toxic, just not emotionally available. It could be that you need to cut that pattern in order to manifest this new love. And you also have to kind of realize that you're much stronger than this ex. Like you're mentally much stronger than them and you need somebody that's going to match your energy more. But will you show me anything on the new love? Anything. Domination, control. They're going to be dominant in the right ways. Nostalgia, longing. Hidden truth. Yeah, again, longing for something that's dead, that's over with. And the truth is coming out, this hidden truth. So you got to decide if you want to end this this pattern, this cycle, and have this breakthrough and freedom from this person. I don't think they're going to, because I keep asking, they're not showing me the new love. I don't think your guides are going to show you because they don't want you to just focus all on that. They want you to make a decision about this other person and decide if you're going to cut this out. And then I think if you decide to cut this out, then that's when they're going to um, bring your new love in for you. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. And if this resonates, please subscribe and remember... Um, you know, you can, if you donate a dollar, you do get a raffle tickets and I'm going to be choosing a winner on the 22nd for a, f a free in-depth private video reading. So thanks for watching. Have a good day, everybody.